Hello, today's video is entitled Little Dog's Cache of Gold. There's uh, several versions of this story and some place the cache of gold in Wyoming while others believe it is in Idaho along the Snake River. So anyway, my personal opinion is this is probably an Idaho location where this gold is at today. The story begins with uh, immigrant tra tra wagon trains traveling the Oregon Trail and uh, sometimes they'd make it to where they're going and uh, on a few unfortunate occasions they would become the victims of marauding Native American war parties. In the 1840s one wagon train was traveling along the route but what they didn't realize was up ahead there was a war party uh, from the Blackfoot Nation led by a war chief called Little Dog and so uh, they were waiting in ambush for this wagon train and once they fell into the ambush area they, they attacked. Uh, the battle was short and swift and uh, the Native Americans, after they just killed all of the uh, white travelers, they started to loot the possessions and the wagons, uh, looking for things of value that they could use. One of the Native Americans found this box in one of the lead wagons underneath one of the front seats, and uh, he showed Little Dog what was in it because it was heavy and it had these little round brass objects. And Little Dog, he looked them over, he thought they were worthless because uh, brass buttons they need to have eye holes so that they can be so used by the, the women for sewing and stuff. Uh, the common uh, common use for buttons were for securing tent flaps to help them keep warmer for the teepees in the winter. So he told them to take these worthless items and go up in the rocks and hide them for whatever reason, he told him, hide him up in the rocks. And years later, Little, Little Dog became friends of the white traders. And it was at Fort Benton, they, he told the story, and they wanted him to go back and get these gold coins. Uh, so Little Dog, now that he was friends of the whites, he didn't want to return to the scene where he had attacked and killed a lot of his new white brothers. Instead, the Native Americans of his tribe happened to, outside of the trading post, kill Little Dog and his son because of their close ties to the whites. So anyway, supposedly this gold is still out hidden in the rocks above the site of the massacre on, in the Snake River Valley. I believe it's Idaho. And uh, the story actually surfaces as you go further and further back in history researching. I found one article from 1889 telling this story. Uh, we also have another one from 1920. And they differ somewhat and they're more colorful because they're written back in the old days. And so uh, someday I wanted to do uh, videos on these other versions of Little Dog's Cache of Gold. Until next time, have a good day. Thank you.